life is a war. It's a battle. You got to be strong. Relevant people don't faint. You know, we will not be here if we haven't fought certain, we haven't fought certain battles. We are the ones here stronger, right? That shall be your story. The church is the salt of the earth to add. Watch this. Write it down. The church is the salt of the earth. You are the salt of the earth to add and give taste to a tasteless world and preserve the dignity of humanity. You need to know who you are, ladies and gentlemen. When you step out of church, you didn't just come to church. The church is the salt of the earth, giving taste, adding and giving taste to a tasteless world and preserving, salt preserves, right? And preserving the dignity of humanity. So when you meet people who have lost their dignity, hey, you motivate them to restore their dignity. Why? I am the salt of the earth. Am I restoring somebody's dignity here? Am I adding taste to somebody's life here? That's what you should be doing. You are junior bishop outside here. Everybody here, you are a leader. Potential leader. Take this message out. People should not meet you and go back depressed. They are looking for answers from you and you yourself, you are depressed. Your face is always long. Somebody is changing position here. Amen. Number five, you are a city set on a hill. Watch this. To be looked up to in the world. So people should be looking up to you. Yes, how people look up to your bishop. You sitting right here, you are a city. If there's a city on a hill, everybody sees it. In Ghana, there's a place called Makati Hill. You drive past the place, you see the hill. And the houses on the hill. A city, so you must be very obvious when you go out of this place. You must be obvious. Everybody must know where you came from. Don't hide your Bible. Be a walking Bible. People ask you about the economy. Well, according to Isaiah 2, the two people will be looking up to the mountain of the house of the Lord. And I'm the salt. Speak the word. Don't speak crunch. The way the global market is sinking, I'm, there's an advert on TV. I challenge it every day. The advert says, what does it say? It says, since, since times are very hard and all of us are suffering, and I always speak back to the TV, you and who are suffering? <laughs> speak for yourself. I'm going to call the department and tell them, change it. Some of us, that's you, not me. Yes. The, it, blanks, it makes it, ge- it generic. It makes it... Say, say, during this economic round, all of us are suffering. I say you, every time I challenge the advert when it comes on, you and who are suffering. I don't care whether he hears me or not. I'm speaking in the spirit for them to change that advert. You and who are suffering. Talk for yourself. The Bible doesn't permit me to speak that way. Let the weak say. Let the poor say. That's whose story. Whose story is that? He said when people are saying there's a casting down, you say there's a what? A lifting... That is how believers speak. And you only get what you say. Don't speak like them. You are not like them. Everybody's business is going down. (laughs) Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Children are getting very stubborn and they are leaving home early before the age of 15. And so I'm sure that my child, I must get ready for to, to push her out. What are you saying? My son is 23. He's still at home. The only time he leaves home is when he buys his own house and marries. Where is he in a hurry to go? I left home at 26. Is it true? 26. Yeah. My wife left home at 21. She got married at 21. Are you all all right? <laughs> Say what? Yeah. 
24 years, married. 25 years, next year. How did it happen? They were. Challenges come to everybody. We fought with ice cream before. Isn't it? At that time, I didn't know I was the light of the world. How can the, how can the light fight with ice cream? And the knives. My wife, she, she uses knives. She threatens you with knives. You hold one, one once left. And people come and visit. That's why people don't visit us our, visit our house. The latest people who visit our house, she came from the kitchen one day. She just said, which one do you want? <laughs> Two knives in her hand. This woman is very, very uh, mischievous at home. In church, she has to be spiritual. Say amen. amen. The church is designed to touch, affect, influence, impact the world. You must touch people. You must touch people. You must touch people. It's designed to touch, affect, impact, influence the world. And the world is people and society, businesses, schools, hospitals. You know, did you know he was telling me recently in the newspaper that they are closing down schools. Closing down various schools, for whatever reason, we must buy those schools. The church must take over hospitals, schools, businesses, entertainment world. We must the political world. They just described President Atta Mills in a newspaper this week as the defender of the faith. A president standing for Christian values, irrespective of the pressures around him. Defender of the faith. President of a nation. Some people, they, I mean, they don't become, the moment they become politicians, they say they are not Christians. So they have to get votes. Do you know who puts people in power and keeps them in power? It's God. He who thinks he can get to the top and play games to stay there is, is demented. Ability may take you to the top, but it's character that keeps you there. Your conduct is what people see. Your character is who you really are. So we must work more on our character than anything else. Billy Graham said, there's a saying by my desk. I put there this year. When wealth is lost, something is lost. When health is lost, No. I need to get it for you. When health is lost, something is lost. When wealth is lost, nothing is lost. And, but when character is lost, everything is lost. They don't remember anything. That's why I said I learned a lesson the other day. I saw something. I said, hey, that's where they will put you. Ah, okay. That's all they remember. When you lose your health, you may have lost something. When you lose your wealth, you haven't lost too much. But when you lose your good name, they don't remember anything else anymore. That's human beings. God forgives you. But human beings, it takes them a long time. We can't afford that luxury. So I stay in my lane. I shake your hands judiciously. I don't allow women to come to my office, just go left and right, wearing short skirts. I'm telling my mother now, from now, I'm banning them from my office. They must only come there when I call them on the phone. Must dress properly when they are coming to my office. Feeling can, no hot water, no zero. You want to come and see me, let the admin call me and tell me. If I haven't called you, you don't come. Do the hot water from Mama B's office. You haven't done me anything. I'm just putting things in place. They are very good people. The people I work with, very, very good, very loyal, very defensive of me. Don't just keep going. I'm saying don't keep going back and forth. That's what I mean. Everything you need to do, the water, must be done before I show up. I've arrived, I'm coming to change. They are bringing water, they're going for hot water, but it's just a waste of nonsense. That's not the time. You are quiet again. You just have to put some things in place. I don't want to see anybody now before I preach. I mean, I've said, come and see me. I've changed my mind. I don't want to see anybody. I want to zero in. 
But that's what my father does now. I got that yesterday. So I want to focus. So it's nothing personal. You can take it personal. I don't care. Some of you can change your mind about certain things. I also can change my mind. So the church. Listen, this is a good. The church is the only last hope for humanity. The church is the only hope. Look, the last hope for this world is the church. This is it. He said in the, in the last days, they will go to the mountain of the house of the Lord. He said they will go anywhere else. He said the mountain of the house of the Lord. Let me close here and continue next week. Let me say these things and then we, are, we, 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 we take over. I'm, I need to teach you about how the wealth of the wicked is about to be transferred to you. I need to teach next week. You need to come and get it. But the Bible says, He gives to the just wisdom, knowledge, understanding. But to the sinner, he gives travail to work hard and gather and come and give to us. You see, very soon, people will be coming to you with huge money. That's why your feet must be swift to the house of God. Don't play, don't be, don't dilly-dally. Don't dilly-dally. 